all I'm saying is that bending over <laughs> and cleaning out pots, tomato pots, <laughs> is completely conducive to cats thinking your back is a table. So, um, now, <laughs> the other side are the dogs trying to get in. Is that you, Maya? Are you trying to get in? Are you trying to get in? <laughs> okay, I'm emptying all my tomato pots, saving the potting soil for elsewhere. Those are the rocks at the bottom of pots. Okay, I'll let you in. Come in. You wanna come in? You guys, you cheeky muggins. Oh, you wanna stay out, okay. Then uh, I found we had an old chimney pot in the um, one of the sheds, and I'm using it for all my canes. Uh, somebody thought this was wood. Uh, sorry, metal, but it's wood. It's a sculpture from Southeast Asia. So my geraniums are in. You can see those are all my trays. There's tomatoes are still ripening, and outdoor plants that aren't frost hardy have come in. Some of my house plants are still out here, like my amaryllis, and this is my poinsettia that hopefully will flower for Christmas. This is the first time I've kept it over the year to see if I can get blooms in uh, for Christmas. So all my tenders, and you see I still have loads of tomato plants to get through. So very busy. I have a barrel of water in here because this the sun heats the black barrel and the water and it keeps the temperature in here warm. It's like old fashioned heating system. And that's what this is as well. That's to make hot water as the sun shines through the roof to make it uh, warm. And it keeps the ambient temperature really, really good. Still dealing with this person who just thinks this is the best thing is helping me doing this. Oh, we're getting down. There we go. Yes, you sweet. Oh, you so sweet. Oh, you so sweet. So you really think you're being very helpful, don't you? Don't you? See, I want to grab the <laughs> tomato stalk and shake the soil off, but you're standing on it. The other thing I'll have to do is, once this potting soil is all emptied into this, is uh, cover it up or the cats will use it as a lovely litter tray. But what I'm trying to do is lift this. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're going out the door. <laughs> um, what I'm doing is shaking as much of the soil off this one's very matted and, and um, full of root structure. But this will end up, this part will end up in the um, compost. So I should have another barrel there filling, filling it up with stuff to go to the compost. Uh, this stuff I won't use to, for vegetables uh, because I don't want to cross contaminate. So this will be used for plants, uh, flowering things or geraniums or things like that so that they don't cross contaminate things. Oh, Inca, you're liking the warm water, are you? Oh, we've come through again. <laughs> you are so helpful. You are such a helpful kitty. Yes, oh, and you, yes, of course. Now, really, you're not to do that. No. Oh! <laughs> oh, look at that. You're such a kitty. You just want to be in the middle of it, don't you? Can I keep working on my tomato plants? Will you allow me to do that? Will you allow me to do that? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Clever giddy. Clever giddy. Oh, if I bend down, you won't be able to see. Let's see if I lower it down to here. There we go. Now. Oh, there's one. 
that for next year's use. See, there's the kitty. He's just, he just loves doing this. He's being so helpful, aren't you? Yep, you're very helpful, kitty. Okay.